so I started working out again. I've been working out on and off since high school with not much success. In college, I had a decent build, but I think that had more to do with having testosterone for blood than anything else. And now swimming in the 40-year-old end of the pool. So I'm gonna change my approach. Look at that, the shit you see at the gym. Around Turkey. You see, my younger self always believed that there would be enough time. I would achieve a level of success and then I would get bored. You know, the challenge would be gone and I would find something else that would challenge me and I would do the whole scenario once again. I mean, this happened with a lot of things in life and I mean it's continued on for years decades so I got two reasons why I work out one for my kids I feel if I experience the ups and downs as a dad will be able to better advise them when they hit similar scenarios number two is I want that toned ass I had in college that my wife loved so much Actually, that's a subsidiary, number two. I mean, the real reason number two is, is again, this is something I wanna do. One thing I would say you definitely need in your bag are these things called fractional weights. The lowest amount of weight that we can put on a bar is two and a half pounds. For me, especially working triceps, biceps, or even forearms, putting five pounds is way too much. Great thing about these fractional weights is that what they are, fractional weights. I got a quarter pound weight right here. They come in half pound. We got three quarter pound and the pound right here this company is CFF fit um, it's not a paid endorsement for them this is just the brand that I use uh, I got these off of Amazon the one thing that I would say out of the set of eight that I've got seven of them when I weighed them were precise only one of them which I think was the pound right here was off by 0.1 wasn't a big deal but again these have been perfect especially working my arms uh, instead of just adding a, a rep on each time I work out you know, it's great to throw a yellow one in the beginning and come back the next week, go up to a half pound or maybe even a quarter pound. So that's been great for uh, my, my training. These guys ran me about 45 bucks. Another option that you have, if you don't want to pay the $45 for these, if you guys played Little League, uh, remember that weight that we used to put on the bat while we are waiting in the batter's box? Those come in, I want to say, 8 ounce, 16 ounce, and 32 ounce. If those baseball weights fit an Olympic um, bar. So if you those run, I want to say between seven and and ten bucks. So it's, if you don't want to pay the money for a fractional set like this, that's another option that you can have. So what am I doing differently? Now I'm focusing on volume and tempo. So if you're interested in volume training, definitely look into German volume training or five by fives. Now German volume training is brutal. You're going to be doing ten sets of ten reps but you will see a lot of gain because you are really taxing the muscle with a 60 to 90 second pause in between sets. Tempo is forcing me to control the weight coming down. Using this graphic and as an example on the eccentric contraction, you can see I'm lowering the weight at a controlled rate, usually between four to five seconds. Now this is brutal and using the heavier weights sort of bouncing off my chest that I used to be able to do, I can't even do more than maybe five to six of these reps anymore for me to do maybe 10 to 12 I had to lower it roughly 40 percent the next phase which is probably just as brutal as the eccentric contraction is the isometric pause that's holding the weight in that stretched position and you really want to get a stretch in that muscle I see a lot of people doing either dumbbells or butterflies when they're not really stretching out the pec. If you look at Arnold Schwarzenegger's old movies, you can see them. I mean, the dumbbells are practically touching the floor. So holding that in that stretch position before exploding on the concentric contraction. And that's all it is. There's really no tempo for myself on a concentric contraction as I'm lifting the weight usually between one to two seconds. Now, if I'm not paused in the locked position, I'm going right back 
right back to the eccentric contraction and right back to that isometric pause. Good. 